Human reproduction is a fundamental biological process that ensures the continuation of our species. Understanding this intricate process is crucial for various reasons. It allows us to appreciate the complexities of our own bodies and make informed decisions about our reproductive health. Knowledge of human reproduction is essential for family planning, enabling individuals and couples to make responsible choices about having children. Furthermore, understanding the reproductive system helps us comprehend the causes, implications and potential treatments for various reproductive health issues that may arise. This knowledge empowers us to seek appropriate medical advice and support when needed. Moreover, a comprehensive understanding of human reproduction fosters a greater appreciation for the miracle of life and the importance of respecting the reproductive rights of all individuals. In the following sections, we will embark on a journey to explore the key concepts of human reproduction, delving into the intricacies of the male and female reproductive systems, the fascinating processes of gametogenesis, fertilization, and fetal development, the hormonal orchestration of the menstrual cycle and the significance of reproductive health. By gaining a deeper understanding of this fundamental aspect of human biology, we can empower ourselves to make informed decisions about our bodies, our health, and our future. The female reproductive system is a marvel of nature, intricately designed to produce gametes, facilitate fertilization, and support the development of a new life. At the heart of this system lie the ovaries, two almond-shaped organs responsible for producing female gametes, known as eggs or ova. The ovaries are nestled within the pelvic cavity, connected to the uterus by fallopian tubes. These tubes serve as conduits for the released egg, to travel towards the uterus, a muscular organ with a remarkable ability to expand and accommodate a growing fetus. The inner lining of the uterus, known as the endometrium, plays a crucial role in implantation and pregnancy. Extending from the uterus is the cervix, a narrow passage that connects the uterus to the vagina, the birth canal. The vagina also serves as the receptive organ for the penis during sexual intercourse. In addition to these primary organs, the female reproductive system includes accessory glands such as the Bartholin's glands and Skener's glands, which secrete lubricating fluids that aid in sexual intercourse. The female reproductive system is a complex interplay of organs, hormones and physiological processes, all working in harmony to ensure the potential for creating life. The male reproductive system, like its female counterpart, is responsible for producing gametes and delivering them for fertilization. The primary reproductive organs in males are the testes, two oval-shaped glands located within the scrotum, a sac that hangs outside the body. The testes are responsible for producing male gametes, called sperm, and the hormone testosterone, which plays a crucial role in male sexual development and function. Sperm, produced in the testes, mature and are stored in the epididymis, a coiled tube located on the back of each testis. During ejaculation, sperm travel from the epididymis through the vas deferens, a long, muscular tube that ascends into the pelvic cavity. The vas deferens then merges with the seminal vesicle, forming the ejaculatory duct which passes through the prostate gland and empties into the urethra. The prostate gland and seminal vesicles contribute fluids to the sperm, creating semen, the fluid ejaculated during sexual intercourse. The penis, the external male reproductive organ, delivers sperm into the female reproductive tract. The male reproductive system demonstrates the remarkable adaptability of nature with external organs designed for efficient sperm production, maturation and delivery. Section 4 Gametogenesis, the genesis of life. Gametogenesis, the process of gamete formation, is a fundamental aspect of sexual reproduction. In males, this process is known as spermatogenesis, while in females, it is called eugenesis. Spermatogenesis occurs in the seminiferous tubules within the testes, where diploid germ cells undergo a series of divisions, ultimately producing haploid sperm cells. This process is continuous throughout a male's reproductive lifespan, ensuring a constant supply of sperm. Eugenesis, on the other hand, begins in females during fetal development. Diploid germ cells in the ovaries develop into primary oocytes which remain dormant until puberty. At puberty, hormonal changes trigger the resumption of meiosis, resulting in the production of a mature egg cell or ovum and three polar bodies, which degenerate. Unlike spermatogenesis, 
Oogenesis produces only one viable gamete from each primary oocyte. Gametogenesis ensures the production of haploid gametes, each carrying half the genetic material of the parent cell, setting the stage for fertilization and the creation of a new individual with a unique combination of genes. Section 5. The Miracle of Fertilization and Implantation Fertilization, the union of sperm and egg, is a remarkable event that marks the beginning of a new life. During sexual intercourse, millions of sperm are deposited into the vagina. From there, they embark on a perilous journey through the cervix, uterus and fallopian tubes where they may encounter the egg. Only a few hundred sperm reach the fallopian tubes and only one will successfully fertilize the egg. Upon reaching the egg, the sperm must penetrate the egg's protective layers, a process facilitated by enzymes released from the sperm's head. Once a sperm enters the egg, the egg's membrane changes, preventing other sperm from entering, a phenomenon known as the block to polyspermy. Following fertilization, the zygote, the single cell formed by the fusion of sperm and egg, begins to divide rapidly as it travels down the fallopian tube towards the uterus. This process, known as cleavage, results in the formation of a blastocyst, a hollow ball of cells. The blastocyst then implants itself into the endometrium, the lining of the uterus, marking the beginning of pregnancy. Implantation triggers hormonal changes that sustain the pregnancy and prepare the mother's body for the demands of nurturing a growing fetus.